This is Michael Hill reporting for Superbike News TV here at Mizano for the seventh round of the 2012 World Superbike Championship. I'm joined now by uh, Fixie Crescent Suzuki's team principal, Paul Denning. Paul, uh, I think the last time we spoke to you was at the first European race uh, back in Imola quite a few rounds ago. But uh, how's the season going for you uh, since then from your point of view? Um, kind of down, then up, and then back down again a little bit. Um, uh, at Imola, we showed some improvement. John couldn't really ride because uh, he was still recovering from injury and he wasn't ready. Um, Leon had a solid eighth in one of the races, then Tess went very well, we were third quickest and um, slowly been improving the bike and getting it to the level that we need to and trying to get the riders confidence there. We had a good run at Donington to fourth place with Leon, only four seconds off the win. Um, Miller, less easy, but we're close-ish and we were close to the top group all weekend here with Leon in Mizano, but haven't quite sort of found the right run of the ball to um, uh, to achieve what we needed to in qualifying. But um, I would say the overall summary would be frustrating because it feels like we're really close to breaking into that front group bat battle quite consistently, but haven't quite made it yet. So um, yeah, new team, first year in World Superbike. It is a different discipline to British Superbike. There's a lot more variables to uh, work with. And of course, the depth of field is just incredible. I mean, we were yesterday, I think, uh, something like eighth and 16th in qualifying. And uh, John in 16th was a just under one second from the fastest rider, so it's tough, yeah. And we talked a little bit at the start of the season about things that you might do with the bike, electronics and changing things, and I know I've spoken with, with Leon and with John and saying that we were talking even just off camera with you know, the Pirelli tyre uh, maybe not being as consistent as, as what you guys would like. Where do you see that tenth, and that's literally what we're talking about, aren't we, tenths to actually get you and the team uh, battling for those regular top six and podium finishes, which we know that as a team you're capable of doing, and the riders are certainly capable. Well. With John, I think it's really a question after just such bad luck with injuries and such painful, sort of really quite worrying injuries. Um, physically, he's good right now, but his confidence is not the top. He isn't abusing the bike in the way that he was last year when he was uh, winning British Superbike races and doing so well at the wild card in the World Superbike races. His confidence needs to grow. With Leon, um, he's really riding solidly, not making many mistakes and uh, pushing really hard. Um, but we're in a position where the bike's just lacking a little bit of acceleration and punch. We're closer than we were, you know, the top speed figures and uh, the way we come off the corner is now closer to the other guys. But Kawasaki made a huge step this year, BMW have. Uh, the Ducatis make lovely grip being a 1200cc twin and they punch off the corner in a different way. Um, and no excuses, but it's tough out there, you know, we're against full factory teams. Um, we're on a bike that's sort of uh, a lovely motorcycle, but hasn't been really updated since 2009. Um, and I suppose the good part of it is we're real close, um, but we do need to find just a little bit more in terms of raw acceleration uh, to make the rider's job a little bit easier, really, so that they don't have to push quite so hard into and through the corners, and then you start making mistakes and running a bit wide and all that stuff. Um, if we can just live with the other guys out of the corners and uh, in terms of acceleration, it will allow them to be more consistent. I guess one question which is maybe a bit political and uh, feel free not to answer it if you don't want to, but do you think it would be an advantage for um, your team having a satellite Suzuki team in the championship? You know, we see looking down the paddock, you mentioned Kawasaki making big steps. They have a satellite team. BMW have a satellite team. Okay, Honda necessarily don't, but do you think it would, would, would aid you somewhat with some of the development that you guys are doing? It's a perfectly valid question, but the answer is no, absolutely not. I think the steps that BMW and Kawasaki have made this year, um, apart from rider confidence, has been the fact that they're investing so heavily in the program doing so much testing, so much R&D, um, and the fact that there's a satellite team at a lower level is, to be honest, I think for them completely irrelevant. They're working on the comments of Marco Melandri, on the comments of Tom Sykes, and working on the level of performance they've got to expand it further. So, no, I think, you know, the, the Hopkins situation has been tough this year in that we haven't seen the true John Hopkins all year. I think we've had 12 races so far, he's finished three. Um, so, as a, as a combination of DNF and didn't start. So, yeah, we're um, a long way away from where we should be, but we've got two super quality riders. You know, they, they can develop the bike without question, um, but our resource is less than BMW factory or less than Kawasaki factory. Um, but as I say, we can take that positively and say it's an encouragement we're so close. Um, if we can just unlock a little bit more potential out of the bike, um, I've maintained that we should be able to challenge for podiums, and I really hope before the end of the year we can do that. I guess that kind of leads me on to the final question I wanted to ask you, Paul. Uh, you know, we're at the halfway point, or after the first race tomorrow, we'll be at the halfway point of the championship. Realistically, from Crescent Fixie Suzuki's uh, point of view, 
What is the plan for the remainder of this year? I know you mentioned podiums, but uh, you think that is a realistic um, objective? Well, I don't really know in terms of result, but the objective has to be to get John back to a high level of confidence and fitness um, and to eradicate any issues we might have that are restricting our performance and just to do everything we can to get the best results. We need to show enough potential that Suzuki, uh, that Fixie is our title sponsor and that other partners um, see the value in uh, Suzuki being on the grid in World Superbike for next year um, and keep pushing whereby everything that we do the second half of this year is really working towards 2013. I think second year into the championship with everything that's been learnt this year as a new team coming in, uh, just the base will be a lot more solid. Uh, the understanding of what we need to do to perform will be much better um, and we just need to do well enough second half of this year to persuade all our partners that that's the right thing to be doing. Thanks for, for talking to us, Paul. I think that's possibly uh, a scoop that we've got here on sbknewstv.co.uk uh, that uh, Suzuki possibly will be uh, in the championship again next year with, uh, with Paul and the Fixie uh, team. So uh, um, am, I, am I deducing that right from what you're saying, that the plan is to be here next year? Yeah, absolutely. Our plan is to be here. And uh, you know, as I say, we need to uh, improve our performance to a level whereby uh, that's justified for all our partners. But well, yeah, we want to be here. And, uh, and I think Suzuki want representation here as well. Um, the championship's really getting stronger and stronger and the, the, as a sporting contest it's, uh, uh, I think it's becoming more and more attractive because the racing is so close, so unpredictable and there's been so many different winners and uh, you know, five manufacturers have won races so far this year and uh, it would be a dream come true if we can join them and make it six. I echo that and uh, Paul as always thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to us and I'm sure we'll catch you uh, before the end of the season. Good stuff, thank you very much. Thanks. Cheers.